Jason here at RMAA, Raleigh, North Carolina's home for real arts, real lineage, real training. This is our third installment of our email Q&A. And what we're talking about today is what art is best to defend yourself and your family when you're on the street? Uh, first of all, get rid of any pipe dreams of doing head kicks and running home with the prom queen. You've got to realize that most likely uh, if somebody's going to attack you. They're going to have multiple people with them or they're at least going to be armed. They don't want to get their ass kicked. So you should come prepared too. Now martial arts is my business, it's my bread and butter, but I'm going to be honest, if you're that concerned about your safety and the safety of loved ones, get a gun, learn how to use it, learn how to take care of it, learn how to store it. Now if you're anti-gunning, you're just looking up your game, study martial art that deals with multiple opponents and weapons. Uh, learning how to use anything as a weapon and learning how to defend against any kind of weapon. I'm partial to Kali and Seelot, that's what I do, but do your research on YouTube and you can find one for yourself. Avoid the sports style um, martial arts like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Thai boxing. It's not that they're bad arts, it's just they've been watered down for competition. They've taken away the use of weapons and the efficient strikes. You have to realize there's not going to be a ref there. You're going to be rolling around on broken glass trying to apply a great rear naked choke while four guys are kicking the face over here and two are raping your wife over there. That's the reality of the situation. Um, they also are dependent upon things that are going to leave you later in life, such as speed and strength. So just steer clear of these. Remember, gun first, second martial art that deals with uh, multiple opponents and weapons. How to defend against them, how to use them. Take care and we'll see you next week.